two acid solutions are to be mixed together. Solution A is 30% acid by volume. Solution B is 70% acid by volume. How much of solution A is needed to mix with solution B to make eight, an 800 milliliter mixture that is 54% acid by volume? Answer to the nearest milliliter. So these word problems can be a bit tricky, but the key is to come up with two different equations. By coming up with two different equations, which is the hardest part, we can just use some basic algebra to solve the answers, to solve for either variable. Now we reread the question to come up with a basic fact. How much of solution A is needed to mix with solution B to make 800, 800 milliliters? So let's define some variables here. We're going to let A be the volume of solution A. Let B be the volume of solution B. That's how much we actually have. And we, by reading the question, we're given some information. The amount of A with the amount of B should be 800. In other words, A plus B, the amount of each one of these, must equal 800. That's a given. Now we need to come up with another equation to solve for these variables, A and B, because we're trying to solve for A. How much A? Now what's the other given? So this 800 milliliter mixture is 54% acid. So the equation number two, we know that the final result, some kind of combinations of A's and B's, is going to be, in terms of how much acid we have, it's going to be the total volume, 800, times the percent acid, which is 54%, 0.54, which means 54%. So equation number two, we're focusing on how much acid we actually have. The total acid is going to be the total volume times the actual percent acid we have. Now what else do we know about how much acid we have? When we focus on A, the amount of A, so this is how much A we have, we know the amount of acid is only going to be 30% of that. So 30% acid is going to be 0.30A. A is the total volume of solution A, whereas 0 0.30 times A is 30% of that, which is this here, if you multiply it, is how much uh, volume of acid we actually have for solution A. What about solution B? How much acid do we have? We multiply it by 0 0.70. This here is how much acid we have for solution B. So th this combination somehow must result in this overall amount of acid, which is here. So that was the hard part. The rest is simply substitution. We're trying to solve for A, so I want to eliminate this variable B. To eliminate B, I need to solve for B. So let's solve for B using equation number one. Just subtracting A from both sides, we have B equals 800 minus A using basic algebra. And now that we have B, we can use this result and plug it into here. So let's do that. We have 0.30a plus 0 0.70, 800 minus a, is equals to this number multiplied. So 800 times 0 0.54 is equals to 432. So this becomes a 432. And we're going to just continue simplifying to solve for a. 0.30a plus we have 0.7, which is the same thing as 0 0.70, times 800 is equals to 560. So this times this is 560 minus 0.70a, I'm just distributing, is equals to 432. So we have a common a here and a common a here. We're simply going to add the coefficients. So we have 0.3 minus 0.7 minus 0.7 is equals to negative 0.4. So we're just continuing our algebra over here. Let me just move this calculator. 
So we have negative, excuse me, negative 0 0.4 a, and then we're going to subtract both sides by 560. So we have 432 minus 560, enter, is equals to negative 128. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 0 0.4 to solve for a. So negative 128 divided by negative 0.4 is equals to 320. So we solved for a as 320 as our final answer. So we need 320 milliliters of solution A to mix with solution B to make this mixture that is 54% acidic.